This is Twit. My, my Moto X is sitting right in front of me. This is a phone that's going to be available on all the carriers in the next few weeks. Uh, rumored to be August 23rd for Verizon. I would guess it's AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, and uh, U.S. Cellular all around the same time, sometime in the month of August. But the, th the phone's just sitting there, apparently off. Although if I pick it up, it does this little kind of breathing thing where it shows the time and any notifications I have. Without turning on the whole screen, it just turns on a small portion of the screen. But the most interesting thing is when I say, okay, Google now, it wakes up and I say, oh, what's Google's stock price today? Actually, I <laughs> it got the wake up and I say, so we'll, we'll do that again. Let me go back. Okay, Google now. Yeah, this is the problem. <laughs> they demonstrated this on the desktop. It was very cool. Uh, okay, Google now. How tall is Yao Ming? Yao Ming is seven feet, six inches tall. Hmm, that's interesting. Who is he married to? Oh, I got to say, okay, Google now. Right? I got to trigger it. That way, otherwise, it would get everything I'm saying right now. Okay, Google now. Who is he married to? Yao Ming's spouse is Yili since 2007. Now, so it got the answer right, but notice I did something kind of odd. I didn't say, who is Yao Ming married to? I said, who is he married to? And it remembered my last search was, how tall is Yao Ming? And it figured when I said he, it referred back. Now, Google did demonstrate that technology on the desktop at uh, Google I.O. It still isn't available in Chrome except for uh, some early beta testers. But it's in this new phone, this new Moto X phone. And that kind of contextual understanding of what you're talking about, don't you think that's kind of interesting? It makes it more like a, like a, a, a person. I can ask follow-up questions.